Today we're gonna add really dumb traps to Minecraft to see if players can make it through our obstacle course and survive. Like this Shulker TNT, which when you open the Shulker, actually spawns a little TNT inside and it's gonna blow up and kill you. Now guys, I told you these were dumb. Take a look, Tom and Jerry's steam trap. Here we go. Okay, so our first trap needs to somehow be recreated in Minecraft to allow hot steam to kill the players. Okay, this is where players are gonna start. We're gonna have them walk on this path and the goal is for them to survive all the obstacles we create until the very end of the challenge or they're gonna win a prize. So the initial idea I have guys is that campfire smoke kind of looks like hot steam. So I wonder if I can add code to the game to make that smoke actually burn you. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. I don't know anything about code. So I don't know I feel like these are like mini toilets in a way So in the center of each of these mini toilets we'll have a campfire which will obviously give out smoke Can I put a carpet on that? What'll happen? Okay, that's good So the carpet acts as if it were a toilet seat lid So we've got the toilet seat lid there and then all of the smoke coming through it Now we just need it to damage you and make it a little bit more dangerous here We're gonna go ahead and take some redstone We're gonna pop this down and hook up a little simple redstone piston trap All right, so this is our very first trap right now So what I built here was a very simple tripwire activated piston trap. I know that sounded fancy It's not basically you step on this it opens up a hole and inside the hole guess what there's gonna be campfires because it kind of looks like steam you know we kind of want to distract them and i feel like the smoke takes the attention away so if you walk straight and fall in you're gonna get crushed and die now we just got to make sure they can't really cheat and get over there like you know walk around it so let's go ahead and add a quick barrier okay i feel like we've made a very successful wall so now we've got a beautiful trap i don't know why i made the runway so long get up here hit the trip wire fall down your death boom you die now, the first one was kind of stupid. This one is extremely stupid. Look at this trap. How am I supposed to make this in Minecraft? So this dude magnifies through the dog's butt, out his mouth, a freaking iron, and then I think... <laughs> what is, how did they come up with this? This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. So we're gonna try to replicate that heavy metal sensation that the cat got by dropping some sort of way anvils on them. I need to somehow suck it through their bodies, in the mouth, out the butt, and I don't know the right way to do that. You know, if nothing else, at least it looks aesthetic. Hey, buddy. Hello, if you're seeing me here, you need to subscribe to this channel or Zach will kill me. Do it now. I'm about to kill the skeleton. I swear he just said something. The idea here is if I put a command block really high and then do slash summon, is that not, is I can't? Oh, it's, it's not summon. This took me a while to figure out, but I finally made a command that when I pull it, it automatically creates an anvil down below that'll crush people. I can copy this and paste it with its command. I wonder if I can put redstone on these and then link them all up together. <laughs> Look at that. It crushes the entire path. That's not bad. I want to make it a little bit longer. Like, I want to make this thing, like, ridiculously hard to get through. The only way you'll be able to is if you just don't trigger it the entire way. It's going to be like a death path. Any bit of redstone could trigger this, so we'll make it very hard to get through. Now, we need pressure plates or something lining the bottom of this to trigger it for us. So, guys, 30 minutes later, turns out I'm not as good as I thought I was at redstone. So, I made this. If you pull this lever, this lever travels the redstone up this thing, and then the end will fall. I don't know how to explain it. It works. All right. So, what I think we'll do instead of doors, since it's a little bit too hard for me, is go ahead and do a couple of levers where this one kills you and then the other one actually lets you pass through so we're gonna literally make them side by side make it very difficult to know which one to pick normally people pick the right side we've learned so we'll go ahead and just do this and like one lets you through one kills you and uh you know it's not the best way to die you can see the redstone pistons down below you i think it looks cool but honestly i think it takes away the magic from this so we're gonna actually hide it even though it looks cool kind of gives you a nice pathway i mean at least guides you in the right direction so if you pull this lever it's gonna probably kill you let's give it a shot or at least do some pretty big damage to you. Let's give her a shot. Lever number one for the door open. Boom, and it lets you through. Lever two kills you, or at least does pretty severe damage to you, so it might make it harder to get through. That looks good. Now let's clean it up real quick and make it look a little bit prettier. I really hope these saplings don't grow. Now this next trap, I feel like inspires so many of us and so many designs in Minecraft. Take a look at this thing. When you step on the next one, it also drops a big boulder. Then you pull a lever out and it burns you. I mean, it just keeps on going. Flick a switch, causes something else to fall on you. It is the infinite never stops delivering trap all right first one very simple we're doing the pressure plate and for our case we're just gonna make ours out of jungle so it blends into the floor here as you walk through there's gonna be a pressure plate right i don't know right here on the corner in case you try to cut that corner which most people will i don't know i feel like putting it right in front of you would be pretty good but it might make it too obvious like i want it to like you turn the corner and then it go and you don't even see it coming so we'll do it like this we'll put four of them right here and you won't really see it. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna come turn the corner, boom! Maybe maybe six of them make it a little bit more. Guaranteed for the hit. Wire these up really quickly and simply like this. And redstone the pressure plate. Fill them up with arrows. So the first one of these traps you're gonna walk through and bang, get shot with these arrows. Another pressure plate which causes a giant boulder to fall on top of you. Now, how we're gonna do that, I don't know, but I think we could put it right here. So what I'm thinking here is if you step on that pressure plate, it'll pull back this piston, which is going to be powered up by a redstone inverter. If you make it around this corner, and again, if you try to cut the corner, you might step on this pressure plate, which will pull this piston back, which is going to have a bunch of green concrete powder on the top of it, which of course will all fall on you slowly over time. So let's test it out. 
Boom. Okay. That's pretty nice. Let's get this thing stacked all the way up then. Trap number two is done. Trap number three, fire. Once the flame gets ignited, it catches you on fire. How I do that? I don't know. We'll make them have to walk around this single piece of fire, like a roundabout, just because it's the most annoying thing ever. And if they mistakenly try to skip it, they're going to take some damage, which hopefully at this point would kill them, given the fact that we've put them through like a billion other similar traps already. Now for the next one, we're going to make it so if you pull a book from a bookshelf, it goes ahead and crushes you. So right here will be the entrance to get in. Now, this next one is very unique. So I used the bookshelf idea and it's actually going to cross you just like in that clip we just saw. You managed to walk through the fire and you happen to stop right here on this diamond block, which kind of is gonna call your attention to it. Hopefully you stand on it. If you open this and turn the page, Boom! The wall closes and crushes you on the inside. So that's just an opportunity to get someone who's maybe not paying attention to what's going on. So this has literally become like the, the house of horrors right here. I would not want to be walking through this. Everything literally is trying to kill you. Now our next really stupid trap comes in. Take a look at this one. Tricks my boy to falling down into a literal TNT hole. Now I don't know if we're going to be able to distract people enough to get him into a hole, but I do know exactly how we're going to build this. And what we're going to do is expand our maze just a little bit because that's apparently what it's becoming now. I don't know how. And we'll take it this way with a brand new floor. Now, I think in our case, we'll use lava because I'm going to use a lot of people to run through this course. If I use TNT, the whole thing's going to blow itself up. I think we can add a couple of these around and even like put one like in each corner. All right, what do you think? That's not bad. I mean, there's there's a lot of opportunities here to make a single mistake and fall through. I think now the best thing that we could do is maybe give myself some barriers. I mean, it's cheating, sure, but we're trying to trap people, all right? It's okay if we cheat a little bit. We'll put some barriers down. Maybe if they try to jump it and there's a barrier, they'll hit it and fall. They'll think, oh, I can jump this, boom, and they'll die. So basically, we're trying to create like slime or some kind of goop or concrete in this case that literally freezes you in place. Oh no, we'll see if we can freeze someone in Minecraft. So since I think the best way to kind of represent concrete in Minecraft is honey and ice, we're we're gonna create a honey and ice trap inside of this area. So the blue ice is gonna be the entire floor. That way it is extra slippery, all right, to make it super hard to maneuver correctly. And why just little bits of honey just to let them know they are entering a very serious dangerous zone. Like, hey, it's, it's getting a little bit crazy in here. A little bit of sea lantern. And then I think through this one, we're just gonna freeze them into an eternal tomb of ice, okay? If they miss these jumps, they fall down into a giant glacier pit right here. I guess this one's being too wide. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Where they'll be forever frozen at the bottom. Now to make this jump though, I think you need a little more space. There we go. We'll do another one here. This will just be a single jump. And these are going to be like our ice tombs. All right. We can freeze them in. Oh, railroad. Can't freeze them in concrete, but we can freeze them down below the ground and bury them. And then for this one, that's going to be a very, very tricky jump. I mean, a lot of people are going to mess that up. Like if you make it to this point and see this jump, that is very difficult to make. To me, that looks great, but let's make it look better. <laughs> okay. So I think it looks a little bit better now. <laughs> I don't know if you call it better, but at least it looks more like a trap room. So now we've got like seven or eight traps right now. And I think for this next trap, we're going to set up the most exciting one yet. You guys know in the thumbnail, we used a crazy weird looking shulker. And this is what that shulker actually does and looks like. I'm going to walk away. So I want to blow this base up. But yeah, we made a trapped, very dumb shulker box where when you open it, the inside sucks up TNT. <laughs> And then when you open it up, it actually ignites the inside of the shulker box and it explodes and deals damage to you. So we can use this by putting the shulker box inside and hoping they try to open this to get some kind of item or whatever. I don't know what they're going to try to get in it, but whatever they get, we'll tell them that they have to open it to move on. Honey, right? You can't jump out of So if we make it so that they go down into a honey pit right here, there's no escaping. They can't jump out of this pit, right? There's no way to get out. We'll give them a couple shulkers on the side. This one, of course, is going to blow up and deal some damage to you. Boom. And this one, 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 and this one. So those are all going to do some damage. Every one of these will explode and hurt you with TNT. Every single one. Except this very corner one, if you manage to open it and not die by walking back this way, you're going to open it up and inside you're going to find a ladder which you can place and then build to get out of this little trap right here. I'll give them like one more little secret area back here and we'll just put these shulkers all around it so they're tempted to open them. You know what? We might as well make them all shulker TNT traps, right? We're, you're here for a reason. Let's make it count. You know what I should do actually? I should make it like this one. Like no one is going to open up this one, all right? Oh, it's evil. It is literally evil. They have like a one in 70 chance to make it out and then if they manage to get that that ladder place they'll be able to walk up here where the door leads them down a new path and they'll be able to claim their victory through the insane obstacle course prize by stepping on to the diamond block But before I invite these players in, I need to go back through the course and make sure this really is as hard as my other courses. Because I made a lot of them in the past, and this one is very intense, but I need to make sure it's up to par. For example, let's replace the beginning with lava. Okay, that's not what I wanted. 
Oh, I actually like that. It's got like adding a little volcano feature to the beginning so that you have to like swim around it. It just adds a little bit of pizzazz, you know, makes it a little bit more exciting. And we'll put some magmas down to suck them down into the water, do some damage. All right, zone two looks good. Added some lava. Zone three has this little trap door right here, which really blends in so well. And it might be better if we actually take lava and have it pour in right there to almost force them to go down that path. We can make this even harder as well by making all of these randomly magma we'll put this one as lava and then we're gonna put some more fire on the outside of this thing like that's the move good luck okay well that just got infinitely more difficult i put it on nuclear level here i think got the fake book if you read it by standing right here you're gonna get crushed <laughs> i'm just gonna put a hint there i'm sure someone will take the bait distraction paintings on the wall just to make it pull your attention away from the floor maybe you're not gonna realize all the traps that are down there that's kind of the whole purpose of what we're doing here all right with all of that work i think our insanely difficult obstacle course is now ready for our very first player to come run through and see if they can survive let's go ahead and pull in one of my brand new channel members which by the way guys go ahead and become a channel member now for all of these crazy perks let's get one in here now all right ryan uh -oh. ryan welcome to the dumbest minecraft trap course of all time first things first do you know what this is have you ever seen in a video uh, like this not really your job is to survive this obstacle course with one single life no healing and if you do you win a mystery prize the rules are simple you can't build you can't break except for one location sound good all righty guys ryan's up for his very first actually only run you got one chance go ahead all right one chance let's see if this works very smart maneuver here today folks trying to get back on the path perhaps so far looking really good here today oh says it and goes down the oh. first drop oh my gosh he oh, falls that's scary to me. the tom and jerry smokestack let's do who wants in next? Can I? All right, turtleneck guy. If you lose, you owe me fifty thousand dollars in real life. You have one life. Good luck. Ready, set, go. Oh, that was close. There you go. Turtleneck guy is looking pretty good here. Got to figure out which one of these. Pulled the wrong one right there, but that's okay. One of those opened the door. One of them closed animals. Which one is the right one? Gets the right one. Okay, you're good to go. Moving on now into the Tom and Jerry spectacular here. We're gonna see how hot things get. <laughs> Oh, take some damage. Almost gets knocked in lava, but he's good. He's good. The gravel right here. Gotta watch out for that. That'll crush you. He's moving through the traps nicely, though, so far. Ooh, a little bit tricky here, huh? This is this is tricky, but you can do it. Make the jump. Commit to it. One more. Commit to it. There we go. There we go. There we go. What is this? What is this? Hint. Let's see what we got here. Let's go. Oh, got him with the old pincher. Oh, got him with that one. All right. How's your health looking, Tomalak guy? Uh, seven out of ten left. Okay. More than I expected. That is not the way. That is not the way. Okay, go ahead whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay, it just sends it. Winter, I love it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, that didn't work out too well, did it? And coming in next, Loy's already on. He's already ready to go. This guy's kind of close. He's all pretty good. I don't know how difficult this one's going to be to get across. I don't think it's going to be that hard. Very well done. Now things get a little bit intense because he's entered one of the more difficult zones we've seen so far. I'm letting him know there's not a secret room there. He's got to commit to this move. And he does. We are now in the concrete mixing zone. Will he be frozen forever at the bottom of this map or will he survive? So far, so good. One more to go. Oh, he gets it. Guys, you know what he's coming up to now. Now, Zaloy, in this area, you are allowed to open up these shulkers because you have to find an item to help you out. Are you able to open them? Oh, wait, he's muted. <laughs> My goodness! Opens the shulker. He's like, what is that? You're gonna have to find your way out of this one. Good luck with that. He's lost his corner. Each time he opens, we're gonna place one more block to give him one less spot to maneuver in. He's got to find the way out. The room is shrinking. He's running out of time. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Every open, it shrinks. He's down to a tiny room now. How's the health looking, buddy? Oh my gosh, it worked. He just literally blew up the entire mega trap right here at the end. Honestly, uh, he even blew up the grand championship zone. So guys, that means that zero people could be our insane obstacle course. And I think the shulker box was the reason why. If you guys like that, drop a comment down below. What can we add next time when we do one of these videos? Peace. <laughs>